at a certain point in life, every African has a dream of moving to South Africa in search of greener pastures, then by this I mean getting well-paying jobs that are pretty easy to find. However, in recent years, South Africa has been facing severe economic challenges, leading to a rise in poverty. That's why we think it's important to understand why and how this happened. By looking closely at the factors contributing to South Africa's economic slowdown and increasing poverty, we can better understand the challenges facing South Africa and many other countries. So, if you're ready to learn more about why and how South Africa got poor in the last decade, stick around. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below with your thoughts on this critical topic. Let's get started. Historical Context to truly understand why and how South Africa got poor in the last decade, we need to examine the country's historical context. South Africa's complex history is marked by colonialism, apartheid, and a long and difficult transition to democracy. The apartheid era, which began in 1948 and lasted until 1994, saw racial segregation and discrimination formalized. This devastated the country's social and economic development as non-white South Africans were systematically denied access to education, employment opportunities, and other fundamental rights. While the transition to democracy in the 1990s marked a significant milestone in South Africa's history, it also came with challenges. The new government inherited an economy heavily skewed towards white-owned businesses and industries, and it had to find ways to redress past imbalances while promoting economic growth and development. Despite some progress in reducing poverty and inequality, South Africa still faces significant challenges. According to the World Bank, the country has one of the highest levels of income inequality globally, with the top 10% of the population accounting for over half of the country's income. Moreover, the legacy of apartheid continues to influence the country's economic and social development, with many non-white South Africans still facing barriers to accessing education, employment, and other opportunities. Global Economic Factors Global economic factors have significantly impacted South Africa's economic challenges recently. The global economic slowdown has dramatically affected South Africa as a country heavily exporting natural resources such as gold, platinum, and diamonds. Lower commodity prices and reduced demand for exports have resulted in a decline in revenue and increased unemployment in the mining industry. This has a ripple effect on other sectors of the economy, leading to reduced consumer spending and lowered economic growth. In addition, the COVID-19 pandemic has further exacerbated the economic challenges facing South Africa and other countries worldwide. According to the World Bank, South Africa's GDP growth rate has declined since 2011, with an average annual growth rate of just 1.2% between 2015 and 2019. These global economic factors have made South Africa poorer in the last decade. However, the government has launched an initiative to increase investment in renewable energy, which has the potential to create new job opportunities and drive economic growth. Political instability One of the significant ways political instability has affected South Africa's economy is through corruption. For instance, South Africa ranked 72nd among the 180 countries in the Transparency International's 2022 Corruption Perceptions Index, where the country ranked first is perceived to have the most honest public sector. Corruption is a pervasive problem in South Africa, with high levels of graft and cronyism prevalent across all levels of government. This has resulted in a misallocation of resources and an erosion of public trust in government institutions, making it more challenging to attract investment and promote economic growth. Furthermore, investors often hesitate to invest in a country with political uncertainty, fearing their investments may be at risk. This has led to decreased foreign direct investment FDI, in South Africa, harming the country's economy. In 2019, the FDA inflows to South Africa fell by 15%, according to the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development. Additionally, political instability has resulted in decreased investor confidence in the country. This has made it more difficult for South Africa to attract the capital it needs to support economic growth and development. 
According to the World Bank, investor confidence in South Africa has been declining since 2010, with the country now ranked 84th out of 190 countries in the ease of doing business index compared to Mauritius at 13, Rwanda at 38, and Kenya at 56. Unemployment and inequality High levels of unemployment and inequality have also contributed to the recent spike in poverty in South Africa. According to the World Bank, South Africa has one of the highest levels of inequality globally. This is due to various factors, including historical legacies of apartheid, limited access to education and skills training, and a lack of opportunities for economic mobility. In 2020, the unemployment rate in South Africa reached a record high of 32.5% according to Statistics South Africa. This is the highest unemployment rate the country has experienced since the labor force survey began in 2008. The COVID-19 pandemic has further worsened the situation, with millions of South Africans losing their jobs due to lockdowns and economic slowdowns. Addressing unemployment and inequality is critical to reducing poverty in South Africa. However, these issues have proven difficult to manage. The government has implemented various policies and programs to create jobs and promote economic growth, but progress has been slow. Some factors contributing to this challenge include a lack of investment in infrastructure and education, a shortage of skilled workers, and ongoing political instability. Education system The education system is critical to South Africa's economic development and poverty. A lack of access to quality education has been a significant factor in the country's economic challenges, particularly in the recent poverty spike in the last decade. Despite significant progress in education since the end of apartheid, South Africa still faces substantial challenges in providing quality education to all its citizens. According to UNESCO, South Africa has one of the highest rates of inequality in education in the world. This is partly due to historical disparities in education access, ongoing funding challenges, and teacher shortages. A lack of quality education has far-reaching consequences for economic development and poverty reduction. Without quality education, many young people cannot acquire the skills and knowledge necessary to participate in the workforce and contribute to the economy. This creates a cycle of poverty that can be difficult to break. Furthermore, the lack of quality education has led to a skills shortage which has deterred foreign investment and hampered economic growth. This has led to increased unemployment and poverty in South Africa. Structural issues Structural issues have significantly hindered South Africa's economic growth and development. Inequality, with a highly skewed income distribution, is a significant challenge in South Africa. The country's top 10% of income earners account for over 50% of the total income, while the bottom 40% account for just 7%. This inequality has led to limited opportunities for those at the bottom of the income distribution, including limited access to education and training and hampered economic growth. Access to credit is another structural issue in South Africa, with a large portion of the population excluded from financial services. This is due to a lack of credit history, high levels of debt, and limited financial literacy. This has limited investment and entrepreneurship, hindering economic growth. Insufficient infrastructure is another major challenge, with a lack of access to essential services such as electricity and clean water and limited transport and communication networks. For example, since the beginning of 2022, a power utility ESCOM's inability to meet the country's electricity demand has resulted in unprecedented scheduled power cuts. In 2022, electricity interruptions totaled 3,775 hours over 205 days. This has made it difficult for businesses to operate and expand, limiting economic growth and development opportunities. Overall, these structural issues have made the country poorer in the last decade. In conclusion, the significant factors contributing to South Africa's decline in economic growth and increasing poverty over the past decade include global economic slowdown, historical context, political instability, unemployment and inequality, education system. These factors have created a vicious cycle, making it difficult for the country to grow and prosper. 
However, some possible solutions exist for addressing South Africa's economic challenges and reducing poverty. These include increasing investment in education, improving infrastructure, creating more jobs, managing corruption, and increasing access to credit. It is also essential to create an environment that encourages entrepreneurship and innovation. We hope this video has helped you better understand the challenges facing South Africa and the potential solutions to address them. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, hit the notification button, and leave a comment with your thoughts and ideas on this important topic.